Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading, tarot reading, my beautiful Capricorn. Um, but I also just recently did your uh, urgent spirit guide messages as well as your urgent um, ancestor messages. Capricorn, I almost forgot. Uh, <laughs> Um, but when it comes to any of my uh, tarot readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Capricorn, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, my beautiful Capricorn. And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Capricorn, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments and also um yeah and i would really appreciate it capricorn if you were to uh give me a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading because it does help out my tarot channel a lot and i always am super appreciative capricorn when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel um, and then finally, Capricorn, before we get into your tarot reading, I just want to say that I don't feel like any tarot card, Capricorn, any tarot reader, I don't feel like any tarot reading should be making a decision in your life, in your life, because I feel like it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not in this tarot, like nothing, right? So I feel like tarot cards, tarot reading should be here to give you a perspective, food for thought, something for you to consider as you go through your life, but never making a decision. So with all that being said, my beautiful Capricorn, let's get into your reading. So, these two cards, I'll address the moon cards first because I love this pairing. I love these cards. I love the full moon, one of them, the full moon card in specific, the most out of this deck. But I love this pairing together because of the powerful message that it has. So, Capricorn, we have the full moon, obviously, which says surrender to the divine. So, what does that mean? This is essentially the card of having faith. This is a card, Capricorn, where it's just like you don't need to... Uh, feel like you have to have a sense of control of every aspect of what's going on in your life right now, Capricorn. Obviously, easier said than done because you're the one living the life, right? So it's like, you know, it's like, why wouldn't you want to be involved in it? Um, but with this uh, blue moon coming in, believe in the impossible, Capricorn, this is why. So it's almost like Capricorn at this time, and maybe you're feeling like you're not wanting to make a decision in your life right now. Maybe there's some anxiety that I'm seeing in these cards where it's just like, you don't know what's going on, right? You don't know what the future entails, right? Maybe that's even why you came to this reading is to get a little bit of understanding of what you could possibly anticipate coming into your future because it's just like, everything just feels so up in the air for you. Everything just feels so unknown to you currently at this time, Capricorn. And you're just trying to make sense of things. And usually with this pairing, Capricorn, it's one of those things where it's just like, things aren't going to make sense right now, but your your spirit guides, those that walk with you, whatever you choose to believe in, Capricorn, they have something coming up for you. They're preparing something beautiful for you, Capricorn. Um, and it's one of those things where it's just like, let's just say, um, let's just say, Capricorn, that you want to be self-sufficient, right? Let's say you want to be able to live on your own, um, have all your bills paid and all that, but you can't see somehow in the f foreseeable future how that is even possible. Well, I always say, Capricorn, it's not our job to know how things are, pan are going to pan out. Our job, our only job, is Capricorn, is to make it out onto the other side. It doesn't matter how bruised and battered we look. It doesn't matter about any of that. Our job is to just go make it through the make it through the day, make it through our path. Um, so we can get to the greatness that your divine uh, has coming for you, Capricorn. So at this time, I know, I mean, again, <laughs> if I was the one receiving this message, I'd be squinting and be like, girl, what you talking about? But uh, Capricorn, truly, um, have patience at this time and just, I mean, that doesn't help your anxiety in this current state, but I do, this pairing is so powerful and I'm so excited for it just because it's like in this pairing, it's just like, something really uh, something really is going to shift in your life this really is such a pairing where it's just like you don't see how it's possible but that's why it's going that miracle when it does happen for you it's going to be that much more magical because it was seemingly impossible seemingly against all the odds capricorn you still managed to have that success 
right? And so it's one of those things of just being like, have faith, have faith in that your spirit guides, your ancestors, all of that, your archangels, whatever it is you believe in Capricorn, have faith in that they are trying to uh, get you to where you need to go, get you to where um, where you would be at your happiest is something that I'm hearing, Capricorn. So very powerful messages with just those moon cards alone. Uh, so now let's get into this queen, uh, get into the tarot cards for the overall energy this week. We have the queen of earth or the three of, or three of pentacles, queen of earth or the queen of pentacles in normal tarot. Now this card says, make time for those around you, take a sensible approach and deal with challenges in a kind and understanding matter. So really, I know judging from your cards, Capricorn, I'm seeing someone that's really going through some struggles right now. It's probably why you're feeling anxious because you're dealing, you're currently dealing with a lot of baggage. You're dealing with a lot of stress. Um, from what I'm getting, Capricorn, some of you guys probably have um, lost some lost some things in your life, whether it's like no longer friends with or no longer connecting with people, certain people in your life, or certain opportunities are no longer there, jobs or what have you. It seems there does seem to be this constant, you're having to move away from things. Um, I'm saying that and almost maybe for some, especially probably a good majority of you Capricorns, seems to be pointing towards people with this Three of Cups. Um, but we'll get some clarifiers on that actually in a moment. So we'll put a pin on that card actually. Um, let's start with the Six of Swords, Capricorn. Now the Six of Swords is that card of where it is you're moving, you're having to move on from things. You're not really happy about having to do that, right? It's like you kind of had to like quickly pack your bags, not really organizing things and get going. Um, so it kind of speaks on the sense of just how, um, either how much it caught you off guard, Virgo, not Virgo, I apologize, Capricorn, how it caught you off guard, perhaps, Capricorn, or perhaps it was just like, feel, you probably feel like this uh, rug was sweeped from under you. I feel like maybe I even said that for you last week, Capricorn, and if I did, it just shows, it confirms to me, like, how long, and shows how long you've been dealing with this anxiety, Virgo. Why am I calling you Virgo right now, Capricorn? I apologize. I just did Virgos, um, and that's probably why I keep on saying it, but I promise you this is for you, Capricorn. Um, I'm just a little out of it in my head right now. <laughs> we have the Ten of Wands for you as well. Now, this is like the baggage. This is you, I, <laughs> Capricorn, in the sense of where it's just you're feeling extremely just weighed down at this time, anxious. Um, you don't, you can't really make sense of the world right now at this current point. And so everything just feels so up in the air, unsure for you. So let's get some clarification though. Let's see what's going on in this, uh, Capricorn. Mm. Mm. Mm, Capricorn. What did I say earlier? It seems like you guys were going through a little bit of loss. Honey, what card came out? The death card. So yeah, definitely you guys have been going through some heavy transitions. This is probably why you're trying to just make some sense of things right now. Probably why um, you're trying to just figure out what's coming. In. Like You're wanting to know what's coming into the next chapter, honey. Because it's just like right now you're dealing with this rough spot. And you're just like, okay, like dealing with all this bad, bad. I'm dealing with all this heaviness. I'm taking up all this heavy load here. But what is to come from this? Is this just, I mean, some of you guys are, may even feel like Capricorn, where it's just like, is my life just going to permanently feel like this? Am I just going to permanently be living with this stress and anxiety? Um, Four Swords lets me know not. It's not. Um, with this Page of Wands, I do feel like you're nearing the end of this death cycle for you. I do feel this is a sign of where it's like a lot of closures to things. So definitely emphasizing on that six of swords where it's just like you do you did have to like move on from some stuff you probably were forced to so i don't feel like it was really your choice capricorn you were forced to like move on from certain people um i am gonna hone in on that message again with this theory of cups it does seem to be like it speaks of like a group dynamic it doesn't i guess it doesn't have to be quite necessarily people but no, I'm going to sit on that. I really am going to sit on that. I do feel like other party members were involved in like this death thing, whether it's just like that situation, like it was other people that caused you to put a closure to things in some other situation that you had to move on from, or whether it was like these actual people themselves that you had to move on from Capricorn and have that death experience with. Um, it does seem to be this situation where it's just like, 
you're taking the high road almost where it's just like you're taking the high road but it's only just because like you're so tired and you just don't have the time or the energy to just be dealing with another wand to be dealing with more um, conflict to be dealing with other people's issues right you're just tired and you're feeling extremely fatigued capricorn and i can say that for a fact just because it's like connecting to y'all's energy for this reading like even my energy like i'm feeling completely different from just how i was even doing with virgos i feel very um I feel very like spaced out out of the blue i feel very just like even just like breathing it sounds so dramatic capricorn but i really do feel like this is reminiscent of your energy even just like breathing is just like ugh. like you're exhausted just even from like getting your breath sort of thing where it's just like you're just it's not like a physical tired it's not like a mental tired you're just feeling like your battery as a vessel is drained is what i'm feeling so yeah, the Empress card coming in, Archangel Gabriel. Honey, Capricorn, I am so sorry. I I know you're tired right now, but it's one of those things and you're gonna, listen, I'm not gonna give you permission to slap me, Capricorn, hello. But um, you probably do wanna slap me in the sense where it's just like, you know, you know that this is like here to like teach you something, but it's just like, you're done with the lesson and it's like, you're ready to like move on to the next chapter. You're ready to have like your lunch period, right? So let's, enough of all that. Uh, my beautiful Capricorn. Now let's get into your rows. So Capricorn, how this works is I will always do a row for my Capricorns that are interested in hearing about their financial and work situation. Um, and then I do a row for my uh, Capricorns in their social dynamic. Now that social dynamic can be friends, platonic, um, obviously. Platonic, romantic, business, all of that Capricorn. Um, and then we just do some final thoughts. So some cards to close out the reading uh so let's now get into my capricorns not social uh let's get in. i'm so out of it for y'all's reading capricorn i'm so sorry um let's get into now my capricorns work situation now oh my gosh such a struggle king of swords queen of cups the lover's card hmm <clears throat> almost choked <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I was about to say I was choked up by spit, but I spoke too soon. Um, so Capricorn, mm, you're biting your tongue on something. You're biting your tongue on something and it's showing to me, Capricorn, something in your work situation or something in your financial situation is really like, it's like almost like speaking on like the calm before the storm almost where it's just like something's really challenging your emotions and really challenging on if you will on like how you're going to handle it in the sense of like are you going to react out of anger are you going to lash out are you going to um like what are you going to be doing uh capricorn it does seem to be like you're being put in some type of situation of needing to make a big decision when it comes to your work situation where it's just like something it seems to be like something's happened in like your financial matters that it's just like you're understanding the seriousness of it and it's just like it's like almost like the next decision that you make really can make or break you almost capricorn so let's pull some clarifiers on that let's see what's going on with that right there really interesting though death card comes flying out for you again capricorn my gosh you guys are going through transitions honey you guys are going through a lot of transitions I really am understanding more and more, like, just y'all's exhaustion um, of just <laughs> existing. Um, why you guys are going through this. It's so crazy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, Capricorn, let me show you these cards, honey. So, yeah, we have the death card. This is, like, again, the energy where it's just, like, the, your next decision can make or break you. Your next decision is in the sense of where it's just, like, it feels like almost like um, Capricorn is one of those things like um, damned if you do, damned if you don't is something that I'm hearing. And then with this Knight of Discs as well as the Three of Swords, it's one of those things of where it's just like <sighs> Capricorn. It's just like <clears throat> I'm like getting frustrated for you because it's almost it's in this sense of where it's like you wanted to like make things work. Like even in like your like your finance somewhere in your financial situation, you wanted to make something work. You wanted to like work this, continue working this job, continue doing something, 
and it's just like you're dealing with some like a block like you're dealing with a lot of resistance right with that fear of swords you there's some pain it's just like it's almost like you're trying to just like have something just be stable in your life that you can just hold on to but it's just like this constant like upheaval right it's like this constant just like challenges being brought forward to you so what can we like what can what message do we have to round that out though for capricorn like yeah we do like capricorn's dealing with some heavy stuff but it's like what can we hope for for this capricorn right capricorn doesn't need to be hearing about their struggles because they're the living truth of it right ace of wands does come forward Capricorn, I wish I could bring you like a happier message in that because it's like, I'm getting frustrated for you because I want to bring forth like a more, I want to bring forth a message, like a more defined message or something that you can be hopeful for. But the best thing that I can really, I mean, with this Ace of Wands is just like, um, it's pushing you to do something with this Ace of, Ace of Ace. You're being made, it's showing to me that you're being made, your life is being made uncomfortable enough until... You make some type of transition or you tour until you start making forward movement in some aspect of your life capricorn even in terms of like your work like i can even relate it to myself capricorn um before i started doing tarot readings professionally and i was working my old job um i i was just staying there right because i stayed there because it paid the bills it gave me that consistent paycheck right um and i really had no reason to leave it but then after a couple, there was like, I was working there for quite a while, but like in a two week span, um, I was made extremely uncomfortable. Like all the people that I worked with at night all either quit or they shift, uh, shift, they uh, changed shifts that they're working. So I had like, basically my work life was made miserable. Like when my, my work life kept on being made miserable and kept on like spiraling until like I made the decision to take that leap of faith and like take action and get myself out of that situation to do something else. It was almost like they were trying, the spirit was trying to get me fed up enough with my job until I just said, screw it. Now, obviously it's a little bit different for you guys, right? In the sense that like, maybe you don't have that option just to just being able to say, just screw it. But, um, I, I would challenge you Capricorn to see what's going on this week. Like, see what it, like, what it's there to show you in your financial struggles or your work situation. See where those struggles are trying, like, what, what those struggles are trying to open up for you. Um, what do those feelings even muster, right? So now, getting into my Capricorn social situations, we have the Hanged Man coming in with the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So definitely kind of confirming the same message as before, <laughs> even with your work life, where it's just like, Capricorn, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I feel so bad. Like, obviously, like, I'm not making these events happen, right? But it's just like every spread that I do for you, it's speaking of conflict, right? It's showing to me like it's a heaviness. <laughs> and this is where I just like, I even, I myself can acknowledge the obnoxiousness of it. Uh, Capricorn, where it's just like the hanged man. You're dealing with some, you're dealing with conflict. You're dealing with all this stuff to have a different perspective. And that's literally what I was telling you from before. It's just like with, with your, uh, financial situation, um, see if there was something there that you was being opened up to you. Same with your social situation, conflict, your conflict, the conflict happening to you is trying to change your perspective. And once you have that shift of perspective, that's when you see a different opportunity being presented to you. That's when you see the roses being offered to you with this Knight of Cups. So I just like roll my eyes at this Capricorn because it's just like, it's more so in a sense of where it's just like, the message is coming in is just like, yeah, like, we know, like, you're dealing with these blows, Capricorn, but, um, we're gonna keep doing them anyways until, like, uh, because it's, like, in the name of, like, trying to redirect you. It's almost, like, definitely, like, you're being redirected, almost, in a heavy way. Judgment card comes out, Knight or Knave of Swords, King of Discs as well. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so action, it's... I can't help but feel like Capricorn with the judgment card coming in with the five of wands. There is going to be like a, 
gavel moment where it's just like one specific action or one specific thing in this conflict that really gets the ball rolling officially and like letting things go that knave of swords where it's just like you know what cutting things off that's when you have your hanged mo hanged man moment it's really truly capricorn once it's like spirits really pushing you to your brink and once you get fed up enough to make a decision on something and to really just like it's, it's like drastic a lot of drastic change that leads to your stability and that king of disc was clarified with that knight of cups so it just really emphasizes like you're you're being leaned into some very stable energy but it's just not going to be right now um <laughs> so really heavy energy capricorn let's just end this reading off actually for you guys like what blessings can we anticipate for capricorn right like i'm not gonna end off this reading and i don't want i don't feel like i need to pull any more clarifiers about what's going on with you currently capricorn let's hear about some good things coming towards you <sighs> ten of wands coming in before you again but i feel like especially with these two other cards coming in um really especially with these pentacles really honing in on like financial again for some of y'all uh capricorns this is finally being relieved through some type of that ten of wands for you it's being relieved by some type of um offer being made to you page of pentacles page of coins is like pages represents new beginnings but in this sense it's like this individual offering and making an offer to you offering their pentacle to you and it's through that offer it's like through it, turns into some type of collaborative energy capricorn so really interesting it's almost like this baggage just gets lifted through some type of um, opportunity being presented to you some type of offer so what i would say capricorn is keep your ears pure eat keep your eyes and ears peeled at this time you know i was saying like see what they're trying to open up to you it does seem to be like it's opening up in terms of like some some type of offer being made to you. So just be receptive at this time. Be receptive to anything coming towards you. Even if it's just like wake up every single day, even though it's like heavy energy, right? Just wake up and view view what's going on right now, Capricorn, as a way it's where it's setting you up to like it's just getting you closer to this page of coins, three of pentacles moment. Um, so that way you can like I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to be more optimistic about this uh, Capricorn just because I understand from your point of view, it's like you're just tired. But um, you can take a lot of comfort in the fact that like you're being taken care of. And this that, this this heavy weight that you're dealing with right now, Capricorn, is really going to be rectified relatively soon, I feel. You just have to go with the punches, go with the blows just a little bit more, I promise you, Capricorn. But Things are going to turn out so much better for you. I do apologize, Capricorn, that you're dealing with all this. I wish I was higher energy for y'all, but, like, whenever I do these readings, I just connect with, like, y'all's energy in specific. So, it's like, can't help it, right? But um, I love you so much, Capricorn. Keep your head up. Um, keep breathing, honey. Uh, you know, just remember that it's not our job to know what's how things are going to pan out. Our job is just to make it out on the other side of that tunnel. Whether we looked a little battered and bruised, our hair is just sticking out other out, out there, right? It doesn't matter how we look because um, that's not our job to, like, make sure that we look pristine. We just need to survive it. And once we survive it, that's when beautiful things come to uh, come towards you, Capricorn. So I love you so much, Capricorn. Keep your head up. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages, my beautiful Capricorn. Until next time, I love you so much. Bye.